So part two to the discussion about how we give and how we take care of people that have needs and ask for help and need help and all those things. Uh, in the last video, I kind of talked about some church procedures we use. Give We give collectively. We encourage people to give to, to one pot and then people of wisdom and discernment kind of portion that out and people know to make requests and uh, we try to sort out the difference between needs and wants and uh, where we can get additional help and how much to give and all that takes some discernment and wisdom. It does. And so uh, part now, today, I want to talk a little bit about some of our personal philosophy of giving. Now, you don't have to do this. Most of this is not biblical in the sense that, hey, God said, here's how you do it. But these are just some guidelines that, that my wife, Marsh and I use for our giving. Maybe they'll be helpful for you. Uh, we do, in effect, tithe. Uh, I don't believe that's a requirement. The New Testament says give as God has prospered you. Uh, sometimes we're able to give more, sometimes less. The way we construct our budget, we have an amount of money that we need to live on. And then we have, uh, when we make extra, uh, that's the money we use to pay for the ranch and do ranch stuff and take some trips and those kind of things. Uh, and so we, we tie that of our living, what it costs us to live. And then we tie plus out of the, the overage. Uh, if a church pays me for speaking, we tithe plus out of that. Now, you can figure out what the plus means to you, uh, but I want to tell you what we do with that. Um, we, we, get, we split our tithe. We give part of our tithe to Hillcrest, where I'm on staff part-time, and uh, that's where we go to church. And so we, we give part of our tithe there. We give part of our tithe to Herald of Truth. Uh, that's the parachurch ministry I work for. I worked for them for 20 years, still work uh, for them, and uh, I speak for them a lot. And they're doing some real, they just started doing some really great things, uh, especially among Spanish speaking churches. And no, I'm not bilingual at all. So I do a lot of our English stuff, and I go to a lot of our Spanish speaking places and speak with a translator. Uh, but I, and so we, because I, I still work for them, we share part of our tithe there. But let me tell you what we do with the extra. Uh, we kind of have a fund that we drop our tithe plus into. And out of that fund, here's how we handle that. That's where we use, a, we keep some cash for what I call low income, uh, low amount needs. Uh, to take somebody to lunch. Somebody's hungry, we treat them to lunch. Uh, anything that's typically for us under $50, we don't necessarily give collectively. We just do that. Sometimes we use that for really special things we find. Uh, we, we bought marriage licenses out of that, uh, taking people to meals out of that, uh, occasionally bought things. We don't do a lot, but occasionally bought a pair of pants or a shirt or those kind of things for people. Um, and then it's out of that pot that we give to the collective pot for people, out of our little tithe plus amount. That's where we, we give at church on the day we have the contribution for our benevolent a contribution for the year that Hillcrest is going to do. That's where we occasionally drop money into one of the funds, especially for our Jesus Journey class. Uh, we drop money into that sometimes. Uh, that's money we use to, to buy books that we give out to people sometimes. And so we use it for a number of things. That's the pot out of which we give, uh, other than Herald Truth, to other parachurch ministries. Uh, sometimes there'll be a missionary that we that we know, somebody we know and want to help, and we'll, we'll give some to them or... Uh, Christian Homes of Abilene, here in Abilene. Uh, our daughter-in-law works for a, a pregnancy resource center in the Metroplex, and, and we sometimes give to that. Timothy Hills Boys Ranch. Uh, there's any number of things that might come up that we say, you know, we'd like to help a little there. And so we just look in our Tithe Plus Fund, and that's where we take that from. Now, you can give any way you want to. You certainly don't have to follow that. But for us, we found that helpful. Uh, the tithe we do take from the Old Testament. We don't think it's required. It's just a, it's just a good uh, benchmark for us. So out of our living expense, what it costs us to live on, we tithe. Uh, out of the extra, we tithe plus, and that's what we use it for. So that's how we do it. Maybe that'll be helpful to you as you share and give with people. So this is Steve Ridgell thanking God for letting me have enough to help others.